Vanessa, visit this. Oh, no, visit the village, Vanessa. Goodness. Hmm. Your flesh shows no signs of putrefaction. It seems you're not a revenant. I've decided to join you in battle now. My name is Loot. Is it Loot or is it Lute? I don't know. I always just pronounce it Lute. They are quite simply no match. I am superior after all. Oh, and enter Lute the mage, the genius prodigy. She's actually one of more of my favorite units. Use not not uh, for um. I mean, she has a very funny personality and everything. But I do, I generally like uh, Sage classes a lot more uh, than I do any, any other melee classes out there. Alright, so, um, here. Wait, I attacked that skeleton. Oh, dude, you didn't heal her, what are you doing? No! Oh, thank goodness. The RG can be very perilous, and I, I tell you, I wasn't looking forward to re-recording if I had lost a, a lord. Right on! And level up for Riki. Barely escaping death. Mm. Such slow shambly zombies. It's like, jump hit! It's just re rather funny when I look at it. It's like, oh, and I'm stuck in the air. Oh, thank goodness they're missing again. Oh. Dude, you're yawning. Stop it. Yawning's bad. And you hit Lute again. Alright, so we just uh, took out another monster there, thankfully. I wonder how the duration on that javelin is doing. It's been used a lot recently. Alright, now that we have um, taken out quite a few monsters here, let's uh, try to uh, go on the offensive just a little bit, shall we? We'll go loot it here. Oh, darn it, Ross can't get there. Now, Ross here, take down this monster here. I'm not really a big fan of light magic as I am to uh, anima magic. It's, it's just anima magic's a lot more. Uh, it's been a lot more kind to me throughout any of the fire emblems out there. All right, since we have so few enemies left, it's always just a good idea to put a put an offensive at the end. And to level up for Garcia. Uh, his luck's increased, which that should probably help later on. Uh, crap! Crap! crap. Crap, dude, I forgot which units I had to deal. I guess it should be Ulrika as priority first. Alright. And she's fully healed with her measly amount of health, and we'll have her charge in just a little bit. Hopefully that's out of the range of this evil eye. Well, I've set take down that uh, evil eye, so, so it'll be a little easier for us to, tr to cross. Uh, so, so what does everyone think of these plays? I, I would like some feedback from people out there. I mean, just you know, more than the good that I've been getting. I, I mean, I appreciate it and everything, but I would like I would like some honest feedback. And the only problem with the uh, mages early on is that. There are a lot of melee units out there that tend to do high damage to squishy characters like magic units. Man, that is... Oh. That is a giant... Eye How does an eyeball just form like that? It's really creepy if you ask me. I've, I've rarely used light magic, but in, the, in the, this one it's actually rather important for uh, certain classes later on to have light magic uh, characters. Especially against monsters. Because uh, bishops, they'll be your best friends on magic levels. A anyone who's played this game, they should know that magic char uh, light magic users are one of the best users uh, game uh, games up 
one of the best, some of the best units out there. And there we go, messing up on my commentary. Thankfully she can rest on that forest. I'll have a Garcia accompanying them. And after we heal our dear Garcia here, we'll move on to the next turn. Alright. In the bottom corner, uh, in for the this chapter, our objective here is to route all the enemies. And for this chapter, we actually have a boss that's rather... Uh, this will sometimes happen throughout uh, some of the games. They will actually move. That's right. They'll actually move towards the enemy, uh, towards your units, and will fight them. So you have to be uh, conscious of where their... their range ends at. So we'll just move Garcia here. It's for backup. Thankfully he misses, because that Faded Claw and, a pow and him being a, a promoted unit would have been a bad idea to happen. And another level up for Franz! Yes! His defense is increasing, which is good. If he gets to level 20, I'm pretty sure he'll be a lot better than Seth will be at uh, his current level of uh, 2. I guess I'll have Arika kill him. It. The dang dead zombie. And the boss is defeated. Yes. And another level up for Rika. Man, she is gaining experience today. And it looks like she's actually doing fairly well with the level ups too. We killed all the bosses with fire. Burn them. Burn it all. That those fiends nothing more than myth and legend. Servants are said to be the dark, least of the dark creatures. And yet, the weakest of them could mount match any normal man. You cannot take this enemy lightly. Oh yes, there are much worse than those remnants in the tube. Let's see, there are bone walkers, mouth dudes, gargoyles, veils. Oh, I hate veils so much. Ugh, I hate them, I hate them. Oh, Divine Light, show me, is this a sign of dark days to come? By all that's holy. What, I, what, I, uh, what is happening, Princess Rika? Perhaps it would be wise to return to Fralia and regroup. Pressing forward seems foolish in light of recent events. You cannot face both greatest forces and more of those terrible things. Seth, I follow your point, and nothing will please me more than running for safety. But what of my brother? He and his men are trapped in the same situation we are. I know full well that I may be leading us into even greater danger, but... Please try to understand. I do, my princess. And I vow to see you through this safely. And, though there's, there's the three strange people that we saw earlier. I, La Rochelle, bestow upon the honor of banishment at my blessed hands! Uh, oh, uh, where are the monsters? We just finished them all. Ah, glad tidings indeed. The heavens must be rejoicing! I am a tad disappointed, however, for I did rush all the way here to show you the splendor of my might. <laughs> it is a real shame, isn't it, Lady R R La Rochelle? But shameful is the way you drag us around the countryside. What a drag. Me? Since you ask, please allow me to introduce myself. It is I, the true light and glory of the sacred realm of Rostin. Stop! Later, Larchelle! You mustn't continue! You cannot reveal your true identity here. Oh yes, you're right. Oh, I get so careless sometimes. Now I must ride off into anonymity. Oh, how beautifully romantic. Um, right. Fare thee well, strangers. Perhaps our paths will cross again. Come, Dolza, Renak. We ride! <laughs> Let's go, Renak! Alright, alright. What was that about? I must agree. It was rather strange. Alright. We have a new area in the lock. So, a little cute uh, keynote, if I didn't mention it in the last episode. 
play the little blue dot that we're standing on now, zombies will be able to re uh, re they'll show up there again, uh, and they will not show up on castles like these. So next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem Sacred Zones, we'll go into Seraphie and see what more uh, 